Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 15th, 2022. Yesterday, doggone it, we didn't get a chance. Uh, they tried initially to get a little bit of a bullish rally going, but with so much uncertainty in the market, we ended up closing lower. We've officially made lower lows on all of the indexes now. And we're going to have to wait and see how we deal with just a massive tidal wave of data coming our way today. So how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. You know, in a market like this, there's just so much uncertainty. It's hard to know what to do. Um, we continue to run through um, so many data points, um, and today is just going to be, as I described it before, a tidal wave of market-moving data coming our way. Um, and anything is possible. So first off, let's take a look at the technicals of the charts. Let's take a look at the price action, see if we can gain some information there about how we may want to approach the day. You know, obviously we continue to move overall in this downtrend um, in the chart. If I were to draw a trend line, and uh, notice right in here, if I draw a trend line down in here, we could be down here testing an area here where, you know, logically you could see a potential bounce. And I've placed whoops, in here some um, big um, bold lines, uh, possible support levels that um, we want to be watching for here in the Dow. So we haven't quite made it there. There still is that opportunity that we could push on lower to find some of that support here in the diamonds. But um, obviously we are in a short-term oversold condition. This is very, very stretched to the downside. A lot of concern here in the market. And certainly it um, tells us that there is plenty of opportunity for volatility that could be very punishing if you're not an experienced intraday trader. Um, intraday traders probably have the advantage here right now. Swing position traders are, uh, well, the quick moves, the fast reversals, the um, the punishing whipsaws, all of those kind of things um, are still likely today as we approach all of this data. Let's take a look here at our technicals. Our technicals here are terrible in um, our charts. Notice that our 34 EMA is now um, working its way to cross down uh, through the 500 day moving average here as you can see 20 day is already through the 8 exponential is through and notice our 50 day moving average is quickly approaching that and actually creating a massive level of price resistance and technical resistance here in the chart if we take a look at our SPY it really doesn't get any better in fact the SPY had a pretty rough day yesterday pushing down we did get a relief rally right at the end of the day and bounce back up but unfortunately we are um, overextended in the short term and with this data today you know it, it, as as overextended as we are we have to consider the fact that the data could prove to inspire those bears so we'll have to just watch that pretty closely today it could be one of those um, painful days to watch um, and I really do recommend that you do a lot more watching, uh, you know, maybe pop some popcorn, put your feet up and let the parade pass you because um, there's going to be a lot of danger here um, in the market today. Let's take a look at our technicals here in the chart. Now our technicals here remain ugly as well. Notice our 34 EMA crossing down through the 500. 20 is already through, the 8 exponential is through. And we probably don't have too many more 
days before that 50 day moving average crosses down through the 500 and once again creating massive resistance levels in technicals and price action um, if we take a look at the qqq now qqq continues to suffer pretty heavily and um, although it was one the one that ended up closing just ever so slightly green yesterday you want to keep in mind that um, these higher bond rates um, have a, um, a, a more impactful negative effect on um, the tech sector. So we'll want to watch that closely as these bond rates continue to rise. As uh, um, we had a little bit of pullback overnight in the bonds, but unfortunately, we're really starting to see the, sh the, the short end of that curve um, moving uh, substantially higher. Our 12-month bonds are this morning at 3.05%. Um, we, our two-year bonds are at 3.30%. Our five-year bonds are at 3.47%. And they are in, the five-year bond is inverted over the 10-year at 3.37% and the 30-year at 3.36% at this moment. So we, we still have some major issues and questions in, in that bond market. And um, that will continue to impact um, the NASDAQ here. Now, if we take a look at the technicals in the chart, obviously the technicals of this chart are not good. Our 500 day is already down through the, uh, our 50 day is already down through the 500 day. And we have our declining 34 EMA, 20 EMA, and we've created a tremendous level of price resistance here and um, absolutely massive just above that. So pretty ugly, but being um, this strongly oversold, I, I still I, I still have that hopefulness that we can catch a little bit of relief rally, assuming that data doesn't just continue to drive us lower. If we take a look at our Russell IWM, it was struggling in here against this price support, but eventually um, the bears kind of won the day, pushing us down. So now all four of our indexes officially have a lower low and a um, after a lower high. So we continue to push these downtrends um, in the chart. Now, if we look in here, we've got some support levels um, in IWM that could hold us right in here so let's let's watch that closely if we can catch that bounce but we'll want to also pay attention to these technicals which are very ugly um, 500 day is well below uh, or 50 day is well below its 500 day and you can see um, we're not improving here on our technicals at all just yet we certainly are oversold so that does give us that little bit of hope that we could catch a rally but I wouldn't want to hold my breath uh, for that, considering all the data coming out this morning. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX continued to just kind of chop sideways here. And as you guys know, I've been mentioning, if we break above here, that could really create some problems um, in the market. And we could see that institutional shift and possibly even, um, you know, forced redemptions um, out of 401ks and mutual funds and things like that but so far we're holding in there against that resistance we haven't fallen or, or haven't broken through so fingers crossed that that will continue to hold but um, what we would like to see is we'd like to see a little bit of relief rally come into play and um, break back down below this area in here and start resting this back unfortunately we've got a lot of work here to do and with the data today you know i just think anything is possible the the uncertainty is really high um, um today and unfortunately i don't think it improves much uh for thursday with some of the data that we have coming our way let's take a look at our t21 22 internals of the market are certainly bearish and as you can see our t21 22 um we're down here in um you know a tremendously short-term oversold condition 
and we did try to hook just a little bit yesterday trying to lift back up at the end of the day but you can see this is our bullish reversal zone and if it weren't for all of this data today I would be expecting some kind of relief rally and as a matter of fact I still am kind of expecting some kind of a relief rally assuming that that data doesn't just continue to pound us lower so we'll want to watch that close here um, we're down here in this oversold reversal range so at any time we could potentially be looking for a little bit of relief coming into the market if we look at our t2108 our t2108 well we did hook just a little bit and if there is some good news in this as we haven't in t2108 we haven't made a new low yet but it's pretty hard to be excitedly bullish about the market when only 13 and a quarter percent of our stocks are holding above our 40 day moving average. That is um, a long ways from being bullish. It's so extremely bearish. However, it does give us that little bit of hope that we can get a lift um, in this and, and start seeing a little bit of relief. If we look at our T2107, unfortunately, um, those stocks holding above our 200 day have hit new lows. 17% of our stocks holding above our 200 day long ways from being bullish here in the market but it is so extremely oversold in the short term notice that this is the pandemic low here um, and we're pushing down um, at nearing pandemic lows here um, in that market so extremely bearish and that maybe um, gives us that little bit of hope of a relief rally coming anytime soon and then if we take a look at our t2101 t2101 continues to extend up as we continue to show this fear and anxiety in the market momentum is certainly with the bears right now but we have extended that bearish move so far that we may catch a little bit of a bounce you'll want to keep in mind that we've got all this resistance up here and like and very much like the um the vix i, I think we're going to be okay unless we break above there if we break above there um, there could be a real change in attitude of the market and the selling could become rather punishing so watch that close let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today this is what everyone's waiting for and everyone's holding their breath as to what may occur here this morning We've got mortgage applications that will be coming in. Those have been very bearish here recently and with interest rates going over 6%, I can't imagine that has improved. So you'll wanna watch that one this morning. We've got retail sales, of course, that is a market mover that could move us substantially. And with the, all of the pressure that we're seeing on the consumers, it really couldn't be too big of a surprise if this comes in um, negative or worse than expected. So watch that closely. If it comes in better than expected, then we might be able to follow through with a little bit of that relief to the upside. So watch that. And then the hits just keep on coming. Um, we're going to have Empire State Manufacturing, Import Export Prices, Business Inventories, Housing Market Index. But the big, the big in for the day is going to be a little bit later this afternoon, and that's going to be that FOMC. Of course, we're going to have that petroleum status, and that could help us out if petroleum status happens to show a build in supplies that could relieve some of those uh, pressures in that energy sector if it comes in continues to show negative well um, look for more record high gas prices um, that FOMC we've had all kinds of statements out there um, we know that the Fed has told us they're projecting a 50 basis point increase today begins the actual balance sheet roll-off um, with 15 billion rolling off today in off the balance sheet and um, a, a, you know at least a 50 basis point increase so you've probably heard um, that there are a lot of folks suggesting that, that it will be at least a 75 basis point increase and this morning there's news out saying it had better be at least a 100 basis point increase um, um, or the market is going to feel that the Fed has lost control. So um, we'll want to watch that closely. We can expect a lot of volatility and, of course, a lot of volatility around the Fed chairman's 
um, comments as well. So just hold on to your seat. Like I said, pop some popcorn and let the drama uh, play out um, and you protect your capital. And then remember, as we plan forward, as, as, as many market movers as we have here, we want to keep in mind we've got housing numbers, which unlikely to show an improvement in housing um, starts and permits with the prices the way they are and rates rising so sharply unlikely to um, show a really good jobs number because we continue to hear about companies doing layoffs um, um, and things like that happening um, and that's typical in a bear market and then we've got that philly fed manufacturing that definitely could move us natural gas report and fed balance sheet probably won't have any impact at all but we will want to be paying attention to these announcements and um, short-term bond auctions uh, for tomorrow so watch that close let's take a look at our earnings calendar now our earnings calendar today um, we don't have much going on um, there are um, uh, six companies that are confirmed on the calendar today but honestly almost all of them are just extreme small cap um, like you know DDL and um, these aren't going to be market movers um, at all the only stock that I could come up with that was somewhat notable um, was WLY today and it looks like um, it's disappointing here this morning um, and moving on lower so that's about all there is for the earnings and you know as we wind down this quarter tomorrow will be a bigger day of earnings reports but as we wind down this quarter um, we're just kind of doing the cleanup work here um, and so don't look for a lot of market moving reports um, if we take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and you know guys it you, it just continues you guys continue to help it out by clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving those brief comments and clicking you know the thumbs up buttons on other comments is, ha is having a, a nice effect as well and as a matter of fact I think it's a very very nice thing to do um, um, I really appreciate you all doing that and taking the time to do that um, the channel is growing we'll um, we're a hundred we're a hundred subscribers away from 28,000. So thank you so much, guys. You guys are awesome. Let's um, take a look at some of these charts. And please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, today, I, you know, virtually anything is possible. We should expect whipsaws. We should ex expect um, gaps. We should expect complete reversals. We should expect just some real punishing chop as we wait for some of these data points so be very very careful here in the market don't run in blindly remember guys this will pass and we don't have to jump in and put risk into the market when we don't have a trading edge and what I mean by that is the volatility of this is just nuts. It's just crazy. Um, there, you know, there's no metals. There is no metals for running um, into um, a wild market condition just because you can't stand aside, just because you can't wait. There's no metals for that. There's no, at the end of the day, um, at the end of your career in trading, the only thing that matters is did your account grow? And it's going to be very, very difficult to navigate a market that could move very quickly today. So remember that one of our, pri uh, our priorities as a trader is to protect your capital. Um, and during periods like this where there's just not a lot of edge, standing aside and protecting your capital is one of the best things that you can do and most responsible things that you can do as a trader. Um, when this is over, there'll be better opportunities where we'll have much more edge in the market. So consider that before you jump into any trades. Now I'm going to show you a few that, um, as you guys remember, I mentioned FDX yesterday, FedEx. Um, 
to be keeping an eye on this. And if we're going to start recovering in the market at all, we're certainly going to need these shippers because um, we buy all of our product online anymore. And if you um, take a look, um, yesterday we had a big pop here in FedEx breaking that downtrend. Now, I wouldn't chase this. What you want to do is wait and see if this can rest, consolidate, prove that it can hold a higher low then we think about going long in that chart. So keep an eye on FedEx. Another one that um, did a nice job yesterday after an earnings report was Oracle. Now Oracle popped up, gapped up into price resistance in the chart. So we gapped right up into here and then pulled back. But you can see we're trying to hold in here as well. Give this a little bit of time again make sure this can prove to us that we can hold a higher low and then we look for that upside move in that chart keep an eye on that on oracle um, on the bearish side guys um, one of the things i think we're going to want to start doing is if we catch that relief rally we want to be watching these stocks you know this is the financial sector we're going to want to be watching stocks that push back up into price resistance levels and as they push back up into these price resistance levels or react negatively to any of these price resistance levels those are the next opportunities to short remember guys in a downtrending market respect price resistance above one of the things that caught so many people off guard is they bought into this idea that hey it was all over this has to be the bottom so much pain in the market it has to be the bottom and too many people rushed into the market and got severely punished here for having done that so be careful guys respect those price resistance levels as we rally back up it may be the next opportunity to short some of those stocks so watch those carefully now i did a class last night on credit spreads you could also look for bullish put credit spreads that can give us those bullish moves without having to take massive risk on that directional trade so um, as i i'll try to get that posted as soon as as I can but um, take a look at some of those kind of trades if you want to be long um, put that um, volatility of the market in your favor on these positions other places guys you might look um, I did see there was a little bit of, of activity in um, food related stocks yesterday but unfortunately it was down as you can see um, we're moving on lower here there may be some short trades setting up here in, on a rally back in some of the stocks like coke pepsico had a really rough day um, yesterday so watch for that next rally back to price resistance that would be the next opportunity potentially short following trends to the downside so keep a close eye on those there may be some short trade setting up there a lot of things in in the the big tech um, um, area continue to show lots of bearishness um, lots of resistance above so remember guys be careful with just rushing in thinking that the this has to be the bottom because we may be nowhere near the bottom um, um, for this summer so watch closely as we rally into those resistance levels that may just provide you the next opportunity to short so with that guys hey i want to wish you all the best today i want to ask everyone to be very careful today um, trade if you feel that you need to trade if you've got the experience for this the kind of volatility that we're likely to see today but um, I think one of the better things that uh, most traders can do, it's one of the things that I will be doing, I'll be standing aside because there's just no point in me risking my capital in um, um, a market that could prove to be very, very dangerous. So I'll wait for a better day to trade. Hope you're joining me there on the sideline waiting and protecting your capital. So with that everyone I want to wish you all a very good day. I want to wish you all the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Take care everyone. Wish you all the best.